So the reason we believe anything is just basic survival. So what I just described is just learning. You know, when you learn something, you, so, you know, like Pavlov's dog, you ring the bell, you give him some food, and he salivates. And you ring the bell, you give him some food, and he salivates. You ring the bell, and then he salivates without the food. So he's associated the bell with the food. The unconditioned stimulus is the bell, and then, or the, the food, and then the, the bell becomes the conditioned stimulus that causes him to salivate, right? That's just learning. And we know that neurons grow new inner neural connections, synaptic connections, when you learn something. So you hear the rustle in the grass, you assume that it's a dangerous predator, sometimes it is, you become cautious, you, you, you act in a certain way, that's learning. That's basic survival. You have to do it because the genome is not big enough to accom accommodate all possible environmental conditions. So the brain is a secondary information processing source in addition to the genes. So we have genes and brains, and now we have books. So from genes to brains to books, and now, of course, the internet. Uh, all this information helps us survive.